Hi guys, welcome on board Kilo Mike Niner and this is another video in which today I have a special guest. He is Captain Anshul Sharma. Welcome sir. Thank you. He is Captain Anshul Sharma. He is sailing on one of the largest ship in the world that is VLCC. It is definitely a largest ship, a widest ship and also the deepest ship. VLCC stands for Very Large Crude Oil Carrier. Am I correct, sir? That is correct. So he is sailing on one of those. These are oil tankers. So welcome on board Kilo Mike Niner, sir. We are doing a common training in Philippines. So I came across with him and I asked him, can you join me for the video? So he agreed. So thank you very much for that also, sir. My pleasure. We are going to ask some of the questions to him regarding VLCC. I will try to bring all the questions which a candidate or a cadet has regarding the VLCC. So I have a master with me. So you know, it is the topmost rank on the ship. He is a captain. So it is the topmost rank and he has a lot of responsibility on his shoulders. He spared some of his time for me to make the video. So we will utilize this time. And sir, can you please give us a brief introduction about yourself? Uh, thank you, Kushab, for having me on your uh, video. My pleasure, sir. So, uh, as Kushab mentioned, I am a master on uh, VLCCs. Uh, I started my career back in 2002 uh, when I completed my 10 plus 2. I did my credit with the company uh, for about three years, then went on to join uh, tankers in 2005, uh, kept sailing with them. And then I graduated slowly from the rank of a third officer, second officer, did my put in my time as a chief officer, played my masters in 2012. And then I've been sailing ever since then as a master on VLCCs, which is a very large crude oil carrier. As we go on in the conversation, I will fill you in about the further details. So, sir, thank you very much for the introduction. As sir told, he's a master since nine years. Yeah. And he's a senior experienced master. So, sir, my first question, how you are navigating this big ship, uh, VLCC? I have heard that it's quite a football field long and uh, you need a sufficient strength to go to forward, come aft. It takes a long time. Is it true? Well, Kushab, to answer your question, uh, a VLCC roughly in the terms of a football field is uh, about size of three football fields. To put into perspective the amount of weight a VLCC can carry, if a regular truck can carry about 18 tons, a VLCC can carry about 18,000 trucks. So that is just to give you a scale of the size of the VLCC. When it comes to handling a VLCC, it's slightly tricky. While every ship has its own uh, different handling uh, aspects, VLCC is tricky in the sense that it has a lot of momentum with it. Because of the large amount of weight, what you have to do is you have to anticipate or plan a movement well in advance. So let's say I want to stop my ship at a particular point. Would you believe that I have to actually stop the engines and try out about five miles before the actual position? So that's that's how much uh, planning and thought goes into maneuvering a VLCC. And uh, yeah, because of the momentum, she's like a slow elephant. So you have to think about what you have to do. You have to plan your movements well in advance. Uh, as you graduate and get some experience, it, it becomes like any other ship. But you do need to take all the precautions that you need to. Thank you very much for this explanation, sir. We cannot imagine such a big ship like uh, you have compared it with football field, you have compared it with elephants. So these all things are big. So you can imagine how big the ship is. Now my next question is, uh, what is the type of cargo you are carrying on the VLCC? It's I think a crude oil, but uh, there are different types of crude oil or uh, there is only a, uh, one type of crude oil on board a VLCC. Uh, so Kushab, like you rightly said, uh, VLCC carries crude oil, but a crude oil is also of various, various types. As the as some of you may be aware, crude oil comes from different parts of the world and is used for different purposes. Ultimately, the end result is for you to uh, distillate the crude oil into different petroleum products like kerosene, petrol, diesel and all that. But do you know that actually Crude oil is used to make plastics as well, used to make fuel oil as well, make cosmetics as well. So different types of crude oil have different uh, properties. So what you do is you take crude oil from different ports 
For example, if you take a crude oil from the Arabian Gulf, the amount of H2S or the hydrogen sulfide in the Arabian Gulf is quite less and they, it's actually used to make a lot of naphtha up in uh, places like Japan and Korea. Naphthalene or naphtha is then used to make plastic and cosmetic. If you need energy rich crude, it's better to go the Russia way. If you need other properties, there are other cr crudes available in America, that is shale oil or in Africa. So different crudes, when mixed with other components, form are used to make a particular type of a product. So it varies from place to place and demand to demand, season to season. Even the fuel oil or the furnace oil is actually fractionally, fractionally distillated from the crude oil that we carry. So while it's crude, it still has to be made into a final product. It's still different. And the aspects and the preparation you need to make for carrying such crude oil is different in every, every uh, circumstance. It was very interesting to know about this, that the crude oil is very helpful to make a finished product. You can extract plastic out of it also. So that was a very good information. I think I am also getting and also my viewers are getting. So sir, my next question is, what things you have to take care while you are at sea or in port when you are on board a VLCC? Uh, so Kushab, like any master, any seagoing master will tell you, the primary, the most precious thing you have on board is human life on board, right? So that that apart, uh, specifically for a VLCC, what you're looking out for is the environment. Because of the huge amount of oil you're carrying, the implications of a spill can multiply many fold. So you have to worry really about any cases of pollution that you may have. Also, because the owner has entrusted you with such an expensive asset, you have to take care of the ship itself. So these three aspects are very, very important. The cargo also comes in that list, but first and foremost is the human life and then comes the environment. Yeah, thank you very much, sir. The human life is uh, very important on board. That's why we are saying safety of life, safety of ship, safety of environment and safety of cargo. So uh, this is said very correctly. And uh, I think we have some incidents in the past. We are uh, reading the case studies of Exxon Valdez and Nakanose. I think those are the major incidents regarding the oil, regarding the marine pollution. So thank you very much, sir, for uh, informing us about it. My next question is, sir, uh, the responsibility of such a large ship lies on your shoulder. So how you are managing everything at the same time, managing the crew, managing the cargo, managing the ship and managing the office also along with that. Well, Kushab, I believe uh, the responsibility of one ship is not that different from any other. Once you are on board, you get kind of get used to the size of it. It feels like any other ship. Like I, I repeat myself, like any other master would tell you being on board is being responsible for the for the souls on board and the cargo and the ship so what you do is just you put yourself in the shoes of a guardian of that ship you try to uh, dispense of your responsibilities to the best that you can and uh, with the you know with the experience that you have gained over the years the guidance of the office and whatever you have learned uh, helps you take care of your ship and its crew also it's important to keep on updating your knowledge and to make sure that that you are uh, taking the safest route out of any situation. So safety is paramount when you're on board, like you know, being a seafarer yourself. No matter what happens, you take the safest way out and uh, things will just work out. So that is my mantra for being on a ship and as a master. Okay, sir. We have learned a lot from you. This was a very phenomenal session and uh, we have learned a lot. I think my viewers have learned a lot from you. So, sir, my, uh, my last request to you, please give a message to the viewers which can uh, guide the upcoming generation in Merchant Navy or shipping or generally who are joining the oil tankers VLCC. So for them, which will be helpful. Uh, so Kushab, my message to the generation looking to join would be one, do not take the illegal route into shipping. If you are looking to join shipping, join it through the correct channels. There is an IMUCT exam that happens every year. Appear for it. Make sure you take up physics, chemistry and maths as your subjects. Make sure you get 60% and then prepare well for the examination to get into the Merchant Navy. One, take the legal way in. Once you are in, just take whatever option you may get. Do not get very finicky about what kind of ship you're getting. Just take the option you can get so that you can earn your license. Then then when you have your license, 
make sure that you do not stop your journey there keep learning because shipping can open up a lot of new avenues for you so it's not that you have to continue sailing there are many shore opportunities which open up to you and many opportunities for you to work abroad as well as offshore so no matter what happens keep learning keep updating your knowledge and keep on trying so uh, that is the uh, gist of what i would like to say to the viewer make sure you go in legally make sure you study hard and make sure you do not uh, stop uh, studying just keep on learning and do not give up on opportunities also uh, encourage content creators like kushab who are making new and interesting content for you on a daily basis uh, like and subscribe to his channel thank you very much sir for being on kilo mike niner my pleasure it was very nice and informative session from you thank, thank you. you very much pleasure thank you very much sir. thank you so guys i think this uh, video is informative and uh, very educational for you if uh, you are sailing on the vlcc so if you like the video do like and share if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe my channel this is kilomike niner signing off stay tuned